Teenagers are the topic of today's video, and let me tell you right off the bat, the beauty of being a teenager is that you have a lot of time to accomplish your fitness goals. Believe me, I get it. We would all like to wake up tomorrow with a rippling six pack and the body of our dreams from some super secret, super powerful workout program that nobody else knows about. However, unfortunately, there's no such thing as an overnight fix. Ever since I made a video about how to get rid of man boobs, I've had non-stop questions from younger guys about how to get rid of their chest fat. Well, in this video, I intend to give you everything that you need to lose some of that chest fat, burn that belly fat, build some muscle, and in general, achieve that physique that you always wanted and deserve. Also, if you're a girl watching this video, I want you to know that the points that I make aren't only applicable to boys, it's applicable for both teenage boys and teenage girls. So this will work for both of you. First, I want to go back to the biggest benefit of being a teenager. You have time. You are living in a body that's always growing and always changing. When you become a full grown adult, it's kind of like things just get locked into place. That's not to say that you can't completely change your body and burn a ton of fat as an adult. But as a teenager, you have so much control over what you're gonna look like when you grow into that adult body. I always found that it was a lot easier to make strength gains, muscle gains, and burn more fat when I was younger and still growing. If your body is still in the middle of growing, I personally believe that it's a lot easier to affect muscle growth and in general affect exactly what your body is gonna end up growing into. As a teen, especially a younger teenager like 13 or 14 years old, you have so much time to affect what you're gonna look like as an adult. This is actually the exact age that I started working out, and let me tell you, when I started working out, I was by no means lean, muscular, athletic, or by any means genetically gifted. The number one thing that I did to turn this all around, and I want you guys to really listen, really focus and pay attention to this, the number one thing that I did was I just got started. And this is really important too, I didn't stop. Being and looking fit is a lifelong process. And the really cool thing is, if you start in your early teens, it's gonna pay off big time when you get older. As an adult, there's so much confusing information out there about fitness. And as a teenager, since you're probably brand new to this fitness thing, it's even more confusing. You don't need the ultimate teenage workout program to start. You just need to stop making excuses and pretty much start any program. You might be in a position where you don't know how to exercise at all or you're really out of shape and you're embarrassed of working out in front of your peers. But let me tell you, when I was 14, I was very embarrassed to bench press in front of my peers, but I did it anyway. I probably bench pressed less than anybody in the gym at the time. But because I was consistent with it and I stuck it out, after a couple years, my junior, my senior year, I was benching a lot more than most of the people in there. Listen to me, consistent action will beat natural and genetic advantages over time. You may think that it's unfair that someone at school may be able to eat whatever they want or not work out hard and they still are more fit than you are. In reality, the truth is that these people may not even have a genetic advantage over you, they just might have been working really hard as kids playing sports while you were playing video games, or they just live a more active lifestyle than you. Regardless, it makes no difference. If you put in the work consistently starting now, by the time that you're all grown up, even the truly genetically gifted won't be able to keep up with your results. And that goes for any area of life that you wanna work on, including fitness. Okay, so now that you know that it takes daily consistent action to achieve long-term success, I wanna give you three daily action steps that you could take to move closer and closer towards Towards your goals over time. Number one, try to avoid anything that isn't real food. What's real food? Real food grows naturally from the earth. If you have a box with a picture of food on it and then you look at the ingredient list of that box and it has ingredients in it that you can't even pronounce, then that's probably not real food. To give you some examples, real food is brown rice, wild caught seafood, yams, quinoa, fresh fruits and vegetables, chicken, turkey, and all the other foods that are the ingredient themselves. They're not composed of ingredients, they are the ingredient. So salmon is salmon, rice is rice, pasta is not pasta, it's flour and a whole ton of other ingredients. If you simply stick to real food, eat a lot of green vegetables, and exercise a lot throughout the week, this should be enough to get you moving in the right direction. Convincing your parents that you wanna get healthy and you wanna get fit shouldn't be as hard as many of you make it seem. If you're really serious about this, you're gonna find a way to get fresh real food into your fridge. 
Number two, exercise at least four to five days a week. I recommend spending three days a week working on the muscles that you specifically want to work on and the other two days in the week doing some kind of program that gets your heart rate high. So my split might be upper body on Monday, lower body on Tuesday, cardio interval training circuits on Wednesday, isolation training on Thursday for a specific body part or for multiple specific body parts that you want to work on. Common ones for guys are the arms and common ones for girls are the glutes. And then on Friday, you would do another interval training cardio circuit. Or you could take Friday off and work out Saturday and do a total body workout to get your heart rate really high. And the third action step is to stay consistent as time is your number one ally. It's not going to happen overnight, but it will reward you more than you can even imagine over time. So get started and stay consistent. That's it guys, I really hope this video has helped you guys out. If you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe to my channel where you could view more videos and tips just like this one. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it a thumbs up and comment below. And if you'd like to try some fresh prepped fat loss meals delivered straight to your house, you could visit my website. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>